already Aries. So this is going to be your reading for September 7th through the 14th. Thank you so, so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for this week and we're gonna get straight into it. Quick disclaimer, this is a general message, so everything I say may or may not pertain to you specifically, so take everything with a grain of salt, and your best bet is going to be getting a personal reading. Now, if you do want me to be your personal, um, or not personal, your spiritual advisor, definitely make sure you check out my Patreon. That is one way where you can get a monthly message for the month of September. Um, it's 11-11 every month you sign up or not sign up, but 11-11 is taken out of your whatever and you get a monthly message from me that's going to be personal to you. So it's really, really cool. It's the cheapest reading I offer. So definitely sign up for that Patreon. It is now being offered. Also, if you are someone who just wants a personal reading with me, like a 30 minute session, what have you, I have a website. My website will be linked down below as well. So let's go ahead and get straight into the reading. I don't want to babble too much. Aries for September 7th through the 14th. Messages for my Aries. Aries for September 7th through the 14th. Hold on. Aries. Okay. So energy coming into this week. Last week's energy. Guidance for this week. Off score issue and the outcome. And energy surrounding my Aries love life for September 7th through the 14th. What's going on my Aries love life? Okay. And then, oh, postcard from my Aries spirit guides. What does my Aries spirit guides want them to hear for this week? All right. So now let's get into some things. We got everything laid out. So first thing I want to cover are the Oracle cards and then we'll get into the actual spread I laid out. So from your spirit guides, what they want you to know, what's most important, it says, dearest you, check in occasionally with yourself about motives behind actions you plan on taking, especially when you have an end game in mind. Is the source of your motivation desire or entitlement? Maybe you're drawn to a certain path because you think it will bring you a feeling related to the outcome you seek, like safety or wholeness. Know that you will see a reflection in the outer world of the motive that drives you forward. Do you need a motive? Can you simply be pulled in a direction your soul calls you toward joy, discovery, growth, or adventure, participating in something compelling and meaningful without trying to define it? If you can step forward, surrendered to whatever spirit has in store for you, you will be amazed at how things turn out. Check your motives, then hand them over to spirit. Everybody wants the best for you. So there is a need for you to really understand this week what is driving you to do certain things, okay? Whether that's like you um, just buying a whole bunch of junk food and not knowing why or having a smoking addiction and not knowing why you're still entertaining that or being in a relationship that you're not completely sure about but still entertaining it or, you know, just making certain moves that may not, you know, be completely... For some of you, not, I wouldn't say logical, but you need to understand why you're doing it. That's why there's a need for you to check in with yourself about your motives and the movements that you're making and why you move certain ways. So check in with yourself, understand like, okay, is there a way I can move in a better light or can I move without thinking this way, that type of thing. So please keep that in mind. Now, what I am seeing for the other guidance here, I have... I recognize synchronicities and it says the universe speaks to you in multitude of ways, including synchronicities. Pay attention to the signs as they are symbols of recognition, motivation and support that you are making progress on your life path. So this is talking about realizing like, okay, when certain things are aligning, 
whether this is like you finding a feather on the street or, you know, 1111 showing up on your phone or repeating numbers showing up on buildings or things of that sort or things just aligning with what you're thinking mentally and then it manifests in the physical world so recognize the synchronicities and recognize what they mean to you and why they're popping up as well another thing we have here it says the law of attraction works in my favor and it says the law of attraction is a powerful tool when used appropriately when you focus on what you no, it says what you focus on you attract more of by making positive thoughts the center of attention in your life, you draw in opportunities to experience additional good fortune. So for a lot of my Aries out there, I kind of um, titled your video, uh, You Are a Miracle Manifest or something like that of that nature. A lot of my Aries, you have the magical touch, okay? I'm going to be real with you. You need to understand with you having that magical touch or you being able to be the manifester of your own uh, situation here, you need to understand that Sometimes you're subconsciously manifesting things that you may not want as well. So use the law of attraction in the appropriate way and make sure that you're not subconsciously attracting people who are wounded, subtract, oh, subtractingly, what? That's not a word. Subconsciously attracting people who are, you know, cheaters, what have you. Making sure that you guys are using the law of attraction in the right way. Okay, now let's talk about your love life. Then we'll actually get into the rest of the spread. What we have here, it says chemistry and it says there is a strong magnetic attraction here. And then we also have pay attention to the red flags and it says the signs are cautioning you. Then bottom of the deck, I do have children and it says your love life is being affected by children. So for some of my areas out there, you could be a parent and you could be, you know, having to focus more on your children this week. And that could be taking a toll on the connection or your person may have children with someone outside of the relationship. And there could be red flags with that. For others of you, there could just be childish behavior that may be kind of taking place this week at times. And for some of you, that could be a result of you and your person possibly needing to heal from uh, trauma from their family situations, like seeing how their like mother and father, how their marriage was set up or their relationship. And this may be trickling down here, but I feel like you guys do truly care about each other. There's just is certain signs that may be popping up here for some of you. And this could be, again, a situation where you may notice that you and your person have a lot of healing to do, or that there's some family issues that could be affecting the situation here. But let's go ahead and look more in depth with this situation. So what I have here at the bottom of the deck, for a lot of my Aries, I am seeing that you're putting more of a focus on your financial matters this week. Even if you are in a relationship, a lot of you are going to be taking a stance of acting more single, not on a like, oh, I'm out. I'm trying to flirt with everybody type of vibe, more of like, I need to get to this money. I need to secure myself financially. I need to make sure I got my stuff in order, especially if there is some issues within your relationships that you're worried about. For some of you as well, this could be you like internally worried about like money. You could be feeling as if like maybe you're working more than what you're getting back. Or for some of you, it's not even that. For some of you, you don't even have to do that much work and money's coming in effortlessly, but you could still be worried like, okay, if there's going to be some financial issues or something of that sort. For some of you as well, you could be having anxiety about a relationship where the financial energy here is not reciprocated you may have you make you probably make more money than the person you're dating and this person may be taking advantage of it for some of you okay i'm gonna just be real for others of you it's just that's just the issue and some of you you could be fighting with your person for that reason but coming into this week i do have the moon card clarified by the five of coins for a lot of my aries you may be in a space of not knowing whether or not you should leave a situation out in the cold or for some of you a situation that has already been left out in the cold you could be in a space of not knowing why or just really in a space of not being sure whether or not you could go back to it especially if it was a huge burden for others of you, this is like you not knowing what to do financially. For some of you, you could have a huge workload or you may have a lot of shit you have to do and you could be feeling a level of disappointment with the foundation you're building. That's not the case for everyone. For others of you, this is more like with love. 
you may have some sort of connection with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you may want to leave behind because it may be too stressful and it may be hurting you to end this commitment, but you may be realizing that this is reminiscent of a situation from your past that you didn't really like. Okay. But what I am seeing for last week's energy, I do have the four of wands clarifying the four of wands. I do have the two of pentacles in reverse. So for a lot of you, you did put your focus more on your, your family matters or like securing a home for some of you. This could have been like uh, working on your creative endeavors to secure yourself financially. For others of you, this is like a twin flame connection you may have been in um, that you are also worried about or not worried about, but putting your focus on. And with this, for some of you, you finally made a decision after feeling like you were stuck for some time or stuck to a certain type of um, outcome. And I feel like this decision puts you in a space of like being awakened after like kind of being on a break, a mental break. So for some of you, you may have been like slowing down on work and you may have realized like, oh shit, I really need to get my stuff together type of energy going on here. But um, what I am seeing for the guidance, I do have the star card with this. This is you guys taking the time to really heal from some traumatic things that may have taken place in your past here. Some of you have not healed. Some of you guys are also not really hopeful for new things that are on its way to you. And the universe is saying you need to remain hopeful. You need to keep that faith, faith alive because if you lose sight of that faith, you'll lose sight of what you're doing here, okay? And don't let your mind play tricks on you. You are gonna be financially secure. Just right now, you guys may be going through a patch, okay? Now, what I am seeing for the obscure issue that may come up this week, I do have the Five of Cups. This could be a level of regret, okay? This could be a level of regret or you worried about some past relationships or connections you may have had with people that haven't worked out and you kind of reminiscent on it um also you may be for some of you guys you may regret some sort of situation here with like a family member so be careful with like arguments or anything of that sort for others of you again like i said um Focusing on the past too much, not being able to see the future, especially in love, because it looks like there's a new opportunity that's on its way to you. That's going to be a lot better once you put down the burdens and let situations that are dead be dead. Now, what I am seeing for the outcome of this week, I do have the Ace of Wands. With the Ace of Wands here, I am seeing that you guys are going to have some sort of new beginning here, some sort of new spark. Now, whether this is like a new spark in creativity, a new spark in like your relationship for some of you guys, there's going to be a lot of sex going on and be real with you, a lot of sexual energy. For others of you, a new relationship may be starting, um, passion may be sparked up with someone again. Yeah, um, this may be a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo or just somebody who you want to build with. Okay. Also it can be, I think I said Capricorn. Okay. And then this could be a cancer Pisces Scorpio. They could be a little emotionally immature as well. Also financially, like you guys may be taking on a lot more work, but you will be like fixing your finances as well. Like getting that in order. So that's pretty much what I'm seeing for my Aries. Thank you so, so much for watching this. I hope that I was able to give you some sort of guidance or clarity. If this did resonate, please make sure you like this video, comment below and subscribe. And if you do want a personal reading, again, make sure you sign up for my Patreon to get that monthly forecast for yourself. It is a personalized reading, so it doesn't go up on the Patreon for everyone to see. It's going to be personally sent to you. And if you are someone who just wants a regular reading, make sure you check out my website. Alrighty, Aries, I'll talk to you guys later.